What's going on guys? So in this video, I'm going to bring you through a very simple and efficient workout that works so effectively. So this workout has always been a, a staple in my routine and it's really focused on the squat and the weighted chin up. So you guys will notice it's very low in volume, but it's super effective because really what, what it comes down to when you're building a great natural physique is like you have to find out what's the easiest and most efficient way to consistently get stronger at the key exercises, the big compound lifts, because that's what really drives your physique forward. And it's really like getting focused in on that 80-20 rule. What's the 20% that's going to deliver the majority of the results? And what that is when you're a natural lifter is, is getting stronger at big compound lifts. So that, that's always going to come down to a lower volume, lower frequency approach, because when you're really focused on the biggest most efficient exercises, you're going to need to prioritize your recovery because they take a lot out of you. So it's really getting focused on the key principle that really delivers, uh, you know, progressive overload on the big lifts. And it's eliminating all the excess bullshit. It's a very productive way to train. And it's how I built my physique. It's very minimalist, but it's super effective. So I'm just drinking some coffee right now. I, d I actually don't believe in pre workouts, guys, I just wrote an article about that recently, I'll leave it in the I'll leave the link in the description about why pre workouts are mostly dog shit. And why I don't believe in them and uh, you know triggered a lot of people but you know it may save a lot of people from spending their uh, hard-earned money in the future so you guys should definitely check that out but let's get into the training all right so I'm kicking things off with some warm-up sets on the squat uh, I don't overdo the warm-up sets and that's something that way too many people do is they way way overdo their warm-up sets and by the time they hit their working sets they're already fatigued so you don't want to do that you just want to slowly ramp up and get yourself ready for that first working set so you guys are going to notice this routine is very minimalist it's very low in volume it's very very low in exercise selection but it's extremely extremely effective and the reason being is because it's really focused on hard hitting efficient exercises and, and the intensity is there and I'm, I'm really pushing to get stronger and hit personal records so when you have that mentality when you're training you don't have to train very much it's all about it's all about getting stronger, guys. That's really that's really all building a great natural physique is about. Um, you could have all you know. You could have the most perfect workout program, perfect frequency, perfect volume, but if progressive overload is not in place, then you will not gain any muscle. So oftentimes, the best way to you know gain strength consistently over time is to train with a lower volume, lower frequency, and just prioritize your recovery. Because then when you do train, you get to bring that intensity, and it, it, it's insane how quickly you get strong. So this is my first warm-up set. I'm going for 270 for six reps. Um, back in the summer, I um, had a couple of injuries, so I lost a lot of strength on my squat. Uh, it was up at uh, around 300 pounds. But throughout the first couple of years of my training, I neglected my legs, which was absolutely stupid as fuck. So now I'm really exploiting my strength potential in the squat, which is absolutely one of the most important things you guys can do as a natural lifter, okay? Like, listen here, okay? The squat is one of the most productive exercises you could be doing in the gym. Uh, the squat has the potential to take a shit program and make it effective. So really, guys, if you're not squatting, like you you're missing out on so much so much progress so many gains um it's just an all-around fantastic movement and it's a key key exercise in my routine so i hit a fat pr there i got 270 for six i've been going up linearly since my up since my lower body is really like catching up right now uh i hit a, I'm, I'm i'm pretty much linearly progressing on my squat so last workout i did 265 for six and now i just did 270 for six so yeah i'm gonna get that i'm working on building that up and my legs are absolutely exploding. My whole lower body is growing massively. And all I really do is squats and deadlifts for the lower body, guys. It's all I do. So you don't need many exercises, guys. But pouring that intensity, pouring in that focus, uh, picking really eff efficient and effective movements, big compound, big compound lifts, and getting stronger at them. So then I, I rested uh, five minutes, dropped the weight about 10%, and, and I'm going for eight reps with 240. So that's how I like to train my key lifts. I use reverse pyramid training. I've just found reverse pyramid training to be way more effective than anything else. So I've, I've done the straight sets, I've done the pyramid sets, but reverse pyramid training is so effective. And basically you just start with your heaviest set. You slowly work up to that heavy, heavy set in the four to six rep range. And then you do progressively lighter sets and go for more reps each set. So the first set is four to six reps. Second set is six to eight, then third set, eight to 10, and then 10 to 12. So this right here is 215 for 10 reps. 
So it's really important to note, guys, like you got to take really like you got to really take long rest periods between sets. It's going to you like resting any less than three minutes has been shown to be uh, far, far inferior for muscle and strength gains. When it comes to big compound lower body lifts like squats and deadlifts, it's better to rest around five minutes. So, yeah, guys, that's uh, that's really how I train. And I don't do I don't I really don't do many exercises. And as a result, I don't spend much time in the gym, but I get incredible results because I'm focused on what matters. I'm focused on what delivers. And that's what building a great physique is about. It's not about obsessing and living in the gym and fucking thinking about it 24 seven. It's about really being productive and doing what matters. It's just like anything else in life, guys. You just got to you got to really apply that 80 20 rule. You know, what's the 20 percent that's going to deliver the majority of the results. And as a natural lifter, that's getting strong at big compound lift. That's all you really need to do. So don't listen to people who are trying to overcomplicate this stuff for you because it's they're they're wrong. They're, they're simply wrong, guys. Building a great physique is very simple and it doesn't take as much time as people think. Like, yeah, you got to be very consistent and, you know, you got to do this for many, many years. But when you're training in a, in a way like this where, where it's very lifestyle friendly and it's very, you know, it doesn't take a huge time investment, it's, it's so easy to stay consistent. You just fall in love with seeing that strength gain and you, you know, you're not, you're not spending hours and hours in the gym each week. It's, you know, two to three hours in the week, two to three hours per week. And, um, you know, it's, it's a very, it's a very light commitment. You're getting a lot out of your investment. So that's really why I train in this manner. And it's very, it's very lifestyle friendly. So then I rest about 10 minutes and now I'm going into my weighted chin ups. So same thing. I do the reverse pyramid training. This is 75 pounds for six reps. So guys, honestly, the weighted chin up is probably, it's definitely one of the best upper body exercises that you could be doing. Like arguably, <laughs> arguably you could say it's the best. Like honestly, if you wanted to build an incredible upper body, all you really need to do is get strong at weighted chin ups, bench press, overhead press, and do some rows that's really all it takes to build a, a great upper body if you just prioritize those movements and getting stronger at them you'll build an, an one hell of an upper body and so this is uh 50 pounds for eight reps did the same uh, you know 10 percent drop went for a couple more reps this is my last set 27 and a half pounds and i'm going for 10 reps so guys like when it comes to building your back you know the trifecta that works so fucking effectively is chin-ups or pull-ups rows and deadlifts deadlifts are like deadlifts and rows are the king king exercises for thickness and then to really get those uh to really get that v-shape to get that um get those lats growing the weighted chin-ups are fantastic and for biceps as well a hell of a bicep movement so now i'm doing some ab wheel rollouts i find these so effective i'm not as big of a fan of, of uh, hanging leg raises nowadays they're also a really good movement but this i find carries more carries over more to my squat my deadlift my overhead press so having a really strong core is really important when you're when you're doing heavy barbell training and you're hitting you know heavy squats deadlifts and overhead press having a rock solid core is very important so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh give this routine a shot it's so effective guys you don't don't take my don't take my word as the voice of god you know try this out for yourself and you guys will see just how effective it is you can apply the reverse pyramid training and see how strong you get.